guys, so I just wanted to share today uh, what lights I use when I make videos. A few YouTubers have asked me what kind of lights I use for my videos, and I can never actually find the direct link to my eBay purchase of my lights, and then I can never remember what it's called, so then if I make a video, I don't have to <laughs> refind it. I can just be like, oh, go check out my video. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about what lights I use, uh, what I've heard works, and what light bulbs. Light bulbs are important. And then I'll just quickly show you how uh, the setup and the storage of soft boxes are. So I use soft boxes. Uh, some YouTubers use the umbrellas or just natural light. I can never film when there's natural light and there's never good natural light, so I just never did that. I think that purchasing the lights is like one of the best investments ever. It was only $49.99, actually it was a little bit more because I had to pay an extra shipping fee through customs once so I got to my door, but yeah, it was honestly so worth it. I've gotten so many comments about how amazing my skin looks and stuff and like I... Like, I put on my makeup, and, like, my makeup looks good, but sometimes I'll be, like, broken out, like, there's a spot right here and here, and I can't, I don't even know. But sometimes it'll actually be, like, a huge blemish, and the lights will make you look like you have airbrushing. Not even kidding you. Like, I'll take a selfie, and it's, like, I didn't even have to, I didn't touch the picture, and it looks like I airbrushed it. I definitely recommend getting lights. Obviously, if you're just testing the waters and you don't really know if you want to stay on YouTube, maybe don't buy lights. For if you're planning to stay on YouTube for a while, I feel like lights is uh, pretty important to making good quality videos. The exact name of the lights that I use is called Photo Studio Light Softbox Photography Studio Lights. You want to make sure that they don't, it doesn't flash, like... I guess photographers do. I found that difficult when I was searching on eBay. I didn't buy these lights from a recommendation. I just heard soft boxes were good and I purchased it and it ended up working out. The one that I purchased actually came with two lights, which for the price, I didn't think that was that bad of a deal. I hardly ever use two. I used two today for like the first time ever because I was doing a lookbook and I wanted to light up my whole living room. But when I'm just doing a video like this, I'm only using one and I actually have it up here on an angle down, just like my camera's angled down. So they're both just angling down and I find that works perfectly. I don't find any shadows in my video. Light bulbs. Light bulbs are so important. You want to make sure that it has a blue hue and I have no idea where it would say blue hue on it. I think it's the fluorescent or whatever. All I know is that there was a blue one and then I can't remember what the other package looked like and it was the blue one. You want to make sure it's like what the blue hue is, it's like white white, whereas like it's not like the yellow white kind of light bulbs because yellow will just make you, it'll it'll make you look more like, not tanned, it just won't make a good light. I don't know how I'm explaining this. I'm not a light person, a specialist. For light bulbs, I actually taught myself again. I just went on eBay and I tried searching other soft boxes and seeing what light bulbs came with it or whatever. Uh, in the store that I went to, they only had 100 watt, but I'm pretty sure it was 85 watt or 90 watt, um, but I decided that the higher watt uh, would be better than the lower watt, so I picked 100 and it works for me, so if you want to pick 100, that's great. And that's pretty much it for the light bulbs. If you can't afford a softbox, I did read online that IKEA, I will learn center picture, these lamps you can buy for dirt cheap also work really well uh, for lighting just because it has that white thing around it, um, that paper stuff, so it, it will make it so that there isn't much shadows. Again, you want to make sure that you have the same kind of light bulbs because if you put a yellow light bulb in there, it's just going to... I don't know, I can't describe it. So in this picture, I obviously am the Minnie Mouse and that's where I would be sitting and that's how I have it set up. I actually have a mirror on the stand of the softbox so that I can see in the viewfinder how I look. So this is the highest it goes. Softbox. I think that most soft boxes work the same. It's still the basic idea, white thing over top of a black box. Anyways, if this video was helpful at all, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in our next video. Bye. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye, bye, -bye mommy. Bye bye.
So my mom came and picked up the girls the earlier at like uh, one and then went on YouTube and uh, just answered comments and watched some videos and then I took a nap. I don't even know what time I fell asleep. It was really hard to fall asleep but I felt so exhausted but I just couldn't shut off my brain. Uh, but have been asking me what kind of lights I use. There's a bug flying over my light. Um, 